Okay, go for it. So. Okay. So we have the nanite concrete, and we're demonstrating the conductivity of the concrete itself, and it gives an audio verification of uh, trigger. So it works bare, open, also with the insulative barrier. The foam, right? foam. With a foam piece. But it does not conduct on non-conductive, as you can see. Neither does it sense pressure. But when we place a conductive surface, <coughs> Uh, there's a little gap, yeah. You know? There's about what is that? About a what do you think? A half inch? Probably about a half an inch, inch gap. Half an inch gap. So when we take a twelve by twelve by a quarter inch aluminum plate, we place it over. As you can see, I'll make it so you can see there's a gap. Um, it it seems to amplify the RF signal quite a bit. It's very sensitive. It also works same way with the uh, insulative barrier. Also, another thing that we noticed is, I mean, this can is a, a visual reference of aluminum, conductive, also a surface that is coated. When we place it on top, it actually senses through the coated surface. So it definitely has amplified the, uh, the RF signal quite a bit. Uh, we think it it acts as an antenna of some sort. Um, it still does not conduct on non, non insulative also. But definitely much more sensitive than if it were to be directly on the. Yeah, just grabbing that can actually mm -hmm. caused it to trigger. I mean, just touching it.